What's up guys, I'm Irish Out and this is Too Deep. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you probably know by now that I love mythology. It's one of my favorite things to read and talk about. I just, I love it. Now, with that said, I don't take mythology as fact. Like, I take my only truth from the only truth, which is the word of God. So with all of that said, let's talk about one of my favorite mythological characters, Krampus. Krampus comes from Central and Eastern Alpine folklore. Places like Austria, Bavaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Slovakia, Slovenia, etc. Let me try to paint a picture of Krampus for you. Krampus is a goat-like creature that comes out to punish the naughty children. And depending on which version you read, Krampus comes out to punish the naughty children by swatting them with birch branches or stealing their presents and leaving behind a silver branch to represent their bad behavior throughout the year. And then there's some variations that are a lot darker than these two. One says he carries a sack or basket on his back or his waist to kidnap naughty children. And what he does with them, it, it kind of varies a little bit. One says he drowns them. Another says he eats them. And another says that he takes them to hell. Now, this is a lot darker than the other versions of just taking naughty kids presents or even just beating them with birch branches but anyways now that we know what Krampus is and what he supposedly does let's see if there's any proof for his existence in scripture so off the bat we have a problem there's not a single verse hinting to or referring to Krampus and you know this shouldn't be a shock to us because the scriptures aren't going to reference every single mythology it's only going to talk about the mythologies that tripped up the Israelites because it's a collection of their history so it makes sense why an alpine mythological creature isn't in the bible now does that mean that we can just write krampus off as fake with no credibility well let's see if there's any evidence for something like krampus in the bible right so like i said earlier krampus is a goat-like creature of sorts if we search through scripture we find verses that talk about goat demons or goat idols and this is kind of interesting. Let's read the first verse that is mentioned in Leviticus chapter 17, verse 7. So they shall no more sacrifice their sacrifices to goat demons after whom they whore. This shall be a statute forever for them throughout their generations. God is saying that the people of Israel were making sacrifices to goat demons. This is, this is pretty interesting. So let's dig a little deeper. The word translated here as goat demons is the Hebrew word seir which means hairy, rough, he goat, demon, satyr. Wait, did you guess that last one? Satyr. So what exactly is a satyr? Satyr is a spirit found in many different mythologies, but it's most famously in Greek mythology. This Hebrew word is referring to a spirit-like creature, specifically a goat-like spirit creature that was worshipped and sacrificed to. So it's not just a regular he-goat. It's a he-goat that the Israelites and pagans sacrificed to, and then things happened. And how can we be sure that things happened? If you're worshiping the God that brought the 10 plagues on Egypt, parted the Red Sea, etc., you're not going to leave that God that does such great things and literally brought punishment on the gods of Egypt, according to Exodus 12:12, 12, 12, for a regular animal that doesn't talk, can't answer prayers, can't do miracles, can't make it rain, etc. That just doesn't happen. Matter of fact, look at what the women said to Jeremiah after they stopped worshiping a false God. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 17 through 18. But we will do everything that we have vowed, make offerings to the queen of heaven and pour out drink offerings to her as we did, both we and our fathers, our kings and our officials in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then we had plenty of food and prospered and saw no disaster. But since we left off making offerings to the queen of heaven and pouring out drink offerings to her, we have lacked everything and have been consumed by the sword and by famine. People don't just leave almighty God for something that doesn't exist. People don't just make sacrifices to something that doesn't answer. This is still the leading cause for people leaving the church today for paganism. They're seeking what seemingly has more power, but let's not get caught up in that. 
we'll, we'll leave that rant for another day. So the people of Israel were worshiping these satyrs, just like the pagans around them. We won't get too, too deep into satyrs, but now that we have a foundation for the possibility of Krampus, let's, let's keep going because this is starting to get interesting. Well, at least it is to me. I hope it's getting interesting for you. It's, it's getting interesting for me. Krampus is said to be a punisher by beating, stealing, drowning, eating, or dragging the naughty children into hell, right? On the surface, these really don't seem very plausible at all because how can a spirit physically consume a child? I'm just not seeing how this could happen unless we look at this as a spiritual thing instead of strictly a physical thing. If this is a type of spirit being, specifically a beast of the field like Satan is, which we go into more detail about in our video, The Beast of the Field, which is under our too deep category. Now, like I said, the beasts of the field are spiritual beings. They aren't regular animals and they aren't people. So if you're trying to argue that the beasts of the field are people, then you're not only a racist, but now you're a racist trying to use the Bible as a defense for your racism and hatred, which is even worse since God is literally love, 1 John 4, 8, and came to save all of humanity, John 3, 16, Galatians 3, 8, Joel chapter 2, 32, Genesis 22, 18. So if you're going to spread hatred and racism out of sheer ignorance and arrogance, just keep going. And if you spread that hatred and turn others to accept and endorse it, their blood will be on your hands and you will have to answer for it on Judgment Day, Ezekiel 3, 18 through 19 and Ezekiel 33, 6. So stop spreading your arrogant hatred and go learn about who God is because obviously you're just like the Sadducees. And let me quote Jesus directly on this, Matthew 22, 29. But Jesus answered them, you are wrong because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. So with that mini yay rant out of the way, the beasts of the field are spiritual beings, the most notable of which is Satan according to Genesis chapter 3 and Revelation 12. And so therefore, if Krampus is a spiritual being, then the actions would have to be spiritual actions, if you will. That would be the only way you could even validate the Krampus myth. So if Krampus is a beast of the field, then there needs to be some kind of evidence of spiritual attack from the beast of the field. Now, the first instance that actually comes to my mind when it comes to spiritual attacks by the beast of the field is the betrayal of Jesus. And let's read that real quick. Luke 22, verse 3. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was of the number of the twelve. So it's possible for the beast of the field to possess humans. Now let's take a look at a possession recorded in scripture. Mark chapter 9 verse 20 through 29. And they brought the boy to him and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy and he fell on the ground and rolled about foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, you mute and deaf spirit, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. This is the infamous story of the disciples trying to cast out an unclean spirit and not being able to, even though they had been going throughout the cities casting out unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. So this spirit was much more powerful than any other spirits they had come across previously. Now look at what the spirit did to the boy, verse 22. And it has often cast him into the fire and into water to destroy him. That's pretty similar to the accusations of Krampus. Drowning them and consuming them? What if they were talking about possession? Because notice how it was strictly the naughty kids Krampus went after? Could it be because spirits only enter into those who allow them to enter? Or in other words, those who open themselves up to evil through their actions? Of course, we could always just write off Krampus as just another myth, but what if some of this fable is true? While you guys ponder on that, 
let's sum everything up for you guys. Krampus is a spiritual being found in Alpine folklore that punishes naughty children. He's most likely a satyr, which is a type of beast of the field. He punishes naughty children by possessing them or entering their lives through their actions. He can drown them through this possession, like in the historical account recorded in Mark chapter 9, verse 20 through 29, which is about the demon-possessed or oppressed boy that was often cast into the fire or water by the unclean spirit so that it could destroy him. Lastly, according to myth, Krampus comes out December 5th which is today so in other words Krampus is coming out tonight so do with that knowledge <laughs> as you see fit i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please feel free to like comment share and subscribe to our channel and until next time god bless